Hi guys, 3D Hero here, and welcome to today's latest Time for Two loadout series, where I bring you new loadouts every once a week. In today's loadout, I'm going to be taking a dig at Time for Assault Burn Car Pilots, as I thought some of these pilots look promising and fun to try out. So, our very first Burn Car Pilot we're going to be participating on, we're going to be taking a dig at the Hollow Grenadier, a brutal, powerful, but weak health pilot. The Hollow Grenadier is a great pilot that is capable of clearing large groups of enemies and pilots out in one or two shots with his trusty grenades. If supported, he's capable of causing a ton of havoc and can demolish the enemy player's team pretty much on his own. If supported, he's capable of causing a ton of havoc and can pretty much push the enemy back to the point of where they won't be able to make much advances. But if left alone, he won't be able to survive on his own or for many encounters, so it's always wise to stick near your friends, or at least grunts, titans, or anywhere like buildings and such, somewhere where you have a nice little getaway. So this day that will be focusing mainly on crowd control in Titanfall 2, as you'll be taking out large groups of grunts and spectres, and also you will be focusing on pilots as well, but pilots may be a problem for you in the long run, because of how the loadout is designed. But this can be easily counted for you. So, like always, let's go into the main loadout. The main class you will be playing as is the Hollow Pilot, which is quite obvious as to why. If you play Type 4 Assault, your main primary can either be nothing or you could be a Grenadier weapon of your choice. The reason why I said you can go with no primary is simply to try and follow how the Hollow Grenadier in Type 4 Assault acts. So, if you want to copy his loadout down to the T, then choose a weapon of your choice. And just don't use it. But if you truly want something to back you up in case of difficult fights and situations, then choose a grenadier weapon of your choice to help, as they can be used to rack up points that go towards your ordnance and allow you to constantly stream a barrage of grenades for your friends and against the enemies. Your secondary can either be the P2016 for fast, accurate, and balanced firepower in close to medium range fights, or the Mozambique that has a good kill potential in medium fights with a chance of downing your opponent in one shot if it is a headshot. Your anti-titan weaponry is the MGL which is strong and effective against both titans and spectres and reapers, something that will become a problem later on into most matches. Your ordnance is just the standard frag grenade which is commonly used by the hollow grenadier and your titan is a customised ion with nuke ejection and entangled energy for constant energy feedback from the enemy to you. Your pilot kit is Ordnance Expert which allows you to see the arc of your grenades and allow you to charge your ordnance much quicker than usual. And Kill Report is your last pilot perk which allows you to see where enemies and friendlies die on the field. Now like always do remember that the last two pilot kits is something that you can always change to adapt but I do recommend that you stick with these two here as they kind of work in conjunction with each other and it does help with the playstyle you will be adapting to. Now in terms of combat, your main focus should always be to stay with your buddies, as they will act as the bait for taking damage, and using your grenades to either finish them off the enemies, or weaken them. So in many ways you will be kill stealing a lot. The main role you will be playing is a supporter, rather than a frontline soldier, so don't focus so much on climbing the leaderboard unless you want to add this as a personal challenge as well. When you come across enemy players, you can use your primary to help neutralise them, but just remember, you can only use grenadier weapons or your secondary as this loadout focuses mainly on grenade usage. Also, I seem to forget to add that you should add tactic kill to your weapons so you can recharge your tactical abilities much quicker as using a hollow perk can get you out of sticky situations and can also be used as bait to see if anyone is hiding in inclusive areas. So if you play your cards right, you should have a decent amount of kills in terms of gun kills and either a relative medium to low pilot kill count depending on how comfortable you feel with using the loadout. If you feel like you want to drop your titan down the moment you get it, then by all means go ahead and start backing up the kills. Just remember Ion is more deadly against titans rather than pilots, so it might be best to wait it out a bit for when all the titans start to drop, then you can start dropping your titan and enter the fray. Also make sure that when you do get put into a doomsday, that you activate your nuke ejection for maximum damage to anyone near you. Bonus points if you manage to sneak over the enemy team when they least expect it. Overall, the loadout is designed for those that want to sit back and focus on getting crunk kills rather than pilot kills. It's something completely different than 
most of my loadouts. Instead of me focusing mainly on gathering kills and focusing on pilots and titans, this is ideally focused on grunts. This is something that's more focused on trying to get as much points as possible and it's something that I, f I personally find a nice little challenge every once in a while. Because there are players out there that are completely sweaty in terms of trying to rack up as much kills and try to climb the leaderboard. So if you're one of those people that you know are sweaty but you want to try something completely different and something that's more focused on grunt control then by all means go ahead with this one. I recommend you play this loadout in Attrition and Bounty Hunter as they emphasize heavily on killing believably everything. The role isn't flexible so you won't be able to go on long grenade killing sprees since I've decided to limit the build down on how the burn cards acts in Titanfall Assault although it's not impossible to achieve as there are many players out there that enjoys a little challenge every once in a while. So if you're someone that enjoys taking out grunts and turning the tide of the fight then why not try this explosive loadout for once. I promise you will enjoy this. So that is the end of the video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't then by all means leave a dislike, I'll understand. And I'll look back on the video to see what I need to improve on. But like always guys, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next loadout video to be coming hopefully next week Tuesday.